Start by selecting File in the menu, New, and select Closed Captions, and click OK for the default settings. And take note of the value for standard CEA 608 as we might be needing that later on. Click OK. And drag this closed captioning file over to the timeline. And we want to stretch this so that it lasts for the whole duration of the video. And we can't do that, so double click the captioning file and go all the way to the end of our timeline and copy this and we're going to transfer it to the out field and paste it there or type in the value of the length of the video and now we can stretch this so that it'll show up for the whole video and now go ahead and delete this caption by clicking the minus sign right here we're going to add our first subtitle here first subtitle starts here and let's change this to roll up three lines so that it keeps three lines um, on the screen for slower readers all right for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to select the yellow text on a black background make sure it's opaque so that the black shows up and go ahead and type in our second subtitle. Again, subtitle starts here. And let's do a third line. Third subtitle starts here. Fourth subtitle starts here. Now let's play that. can see it rolls up like that. Now you can change the duration or the time at when the text comes in and when it leaves the screen. Just play around with the values for the in and out fields. And here's a tip, if when you're playing it, it doesn't show up, check your settings here. Click on the wrench icon and go to closed captioning display and make sure that it's enabled. And if it is enabled already and it's still not showing up, click on the settings right here. And notice the standard, CA608. Make sure this matches the value from when we initially created the closed captioning file. And click OK. And it should show up once you do that.